I shouldn't have done that. We can pretend it didn't happen. Everything can go back to normal. No. But I need to... Uh, please, no. please, don't make me go back to L.A.
I screwed up. I, I know I screwed up. I oh, know. right. I, of course. Here it comes. You can't keep doing this. You can't keep doing shitty things and then feel bad about yourself. Like, that makes it okay. You need to be better. I know, and I'm sorry, okay? I was drunk, and there was all this pressure with the Oscar campaign. But now, now that it's over, I... I no, no. Bojack, just stop. You are all the things that are wrong with you. company paid me eight thousand dollars to wear it <laughs> and i don't even need the money <sighs> just liked that someone still wanted me to wear their shirt hey 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 it's okay everything's gonna be okay so what am i supposed to do i don't know what to do am i doomed are you doomed are we all doomed no no calm down nobody is doomed and i'll tell you what we're gonna do we're gonna go to the planetarium really
treat me like a big joke? You think I don't notice? Why don't you like me? Mr. Peanut Butter. No, tell me. Because I'm jealous. Of what? Diane? No. Of everything. Everything comes so easy for you. Oh, and it doesn't for you. You're a millionaire movie star with a girlfriend who loves you, acting in your dream movie. What more do you want? What else could the universe possibly owe you? I want to feel good about myself, the way you do. And I don't know how. Everybody loves you, but nobody likes you. And that is the loneliest feeling in the world. Here's a story. When I was a teenager, I performed a comedy routine for my high school talent show. There was this uh, cool jacket that I wanted to wear because I thought it would make me look like Albert Brooks. For months, I saved up for this jacket. But when I finally had enough, I went to the store and it was gone. They just sold it to someone else. So I went home and I told my mother and she said, let that be a lesson. That's the good that comes from wanting things. She was really good at dispensing life lessons that always seemed to circle back to everything being my fault. But then, on the day of the talent show, my mother had a surprise for me. She had bought me the jacket. And even though she didn't know how to say it, I knew this meant that she loved me. Now that's a good story about my mother. It's not true, but it's a good story, right? I stole it from an episode of Maud I saw when I was a kid when she talks about her father. I remember when I saw it thinking, that's the kind of story I want to tell about my parents when they die. But I don't have any stories like that. All I know about being good, I learned from TV. And in TV, flawed characters are constantly showing people they care with these surprising grand gestures. And I think that part of me still believes that's what love is. But in real life, the big gesture isn't enough. You need to be consistent. You need to be dependably good. You can't just screw everything up and then take a boat out in the ocean to save your best friend or solve a mystery and fly to Kansas. You need to do it every day, which is so hard. When you're a kid, you convince yourself that maybe the grand gesture could be enough. That even though your parents aren't what you need them to be over and over and over again, at any moment, they might surprise you with something wonderful. I kept waiting for that, the proof that even though my mother was a hard woman, deep down, she loved me and cared about me and wanted me to know that I made her life a little bit brighter. And even now, I find myself waiting. Hey, Mom. Knock once if you love me and care about me and want me to know that I made your life a little bit brighter. No one ever tells you when your mom dies you get a free churro.
Nobody completes anybody. That's not a real thing. If you're lucky enough to find someone you can halfway tolerate, you sink your nails in and you don't let go, no matter what. So what? I should just settle? Yes, thank you. Exactly, settle. Because otherwise, you're just going to get older and harder and more alone. And you're going to do everything you can to fill that hole with friends and your career and meaningless sex. But the hole doesn't get filled. Usually when people ask how I'm doing, the real answer is I'm doing shit.
that's wrong. And I have to be like, I don't know, all of it. Terrified of nothing. 
people come up to me, they want my autograph, they want my picture. They think they recognize something in me. And I want to be that person that they think I am, but I'm not. They see a greatness in me and they mistake it for goodness, but I, I know there's nothing there. As fast as I run, I can't get away from that.
Bojack? Is that you? Yeah, it's me. Where am I? At the lake house. I am? Well, what are we doing here, Bojack? We're listening to your brother play the piano. And we're eating ice cream. Can you taste the ice cream, Mom? Oh, Bojack. started running and that seemed to make sense so I just kept running when you get sad you run straight ahead and, and you keep running forward no matter what there are people in your life who are going to try to hold you back slow you down but you don't let them don't you stop running and don't you ever look behind you there's nothing for you behind you all that exists is what's ahead Chill hot beats to study slash relax too. I'm happy for the first time in my life, and I'm not going to feel bad about it. It takes a long time to realize how truly miserable you are, and even longer to see that it doesn't have to be that way.
only after you give up everything. Tell me you don't feel the same. Tell me you haven't thought about it. <sighs> I think you should go. Okay. Tomorrow. Charlotte. I have worked very hard to build this life for myself. I am happy here. And you just roll into my life like a hurricane. Why? Because we knew each other for five minutes 30 years ago? I don't know you. You do. I don't. And you don't know me. You can't keep doing this. You can't keep doing shitty things and then feel bad about yourself like that makes it okay. You need to be better. I know, and I'm sorry, okay? I was drunk, and there was all this pressure with the Oscar campaign. But now, now that it's over, I... I... No, no, Bojack, just stop. You are all the things that are wrong with you. It's not the alcohol, or the drugs, or any of the shitty things that happened to you in your career, or when you were a kid. It's you. All right? It's you. too late for me? What? I mean, am, 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 am I just doomed to be the person that I am? I know that I can be selfish and narcissistic and self-destructive, but underneath all that, deep down, I'm a good person and I need you to tell me that I'm good. Diane, tell me, please, Diane, tell me that I'm good. the way it is, you know. Everything must come to an end. The drip finally stops. See you on the other side. Oh, Bojack, no. There is no other side. This is it. for them, even if they were never meant to be in your life forever. I'm glad I knew you, too. New, huh? Mm. Hey, wouldn't it be funny if this night was the last time we ever talked to each other? See, Sarah Lynn? We're not doomed. In the great grand scheme of things, we're just tiny specks that will one day be forgotten. So it doesn't matter what we did in the past or how we'll be remembered. The only thing that matters is right now. This moment. This one spectacular moment we are sharing together. Right, Sarah Lynn? Sarah Lynn? Sarah Lynn?
you're actually in a really good position now because you can pretty much do anything you want. You're responsible for your own happiness, you know? Good Lord, that's depressing. No, it's not. I'm responsible for my own happiness. I can't even be responsible for my own breakfast. <laughs>
Is it terrifying? No, I don't think so. It's the way it is, you know. Everything must come to an end. The drip finally stops. See you on the other side.
I told you that I love you. 